Uh, well, the city of Victoria says the Occupy movement so far has cost city taxpayers more than $60,000 with lawyers fees, policing and ongoing cleanup costs expected to push the cost of free speech even higher. CTV Stephen Andrew now uh, with what happens next. It is the single biggest drain on police resources in Victoria. Since the Occupy movement landed in Centennial Square, officers have been called to the encampment 63 times. So far, it's cost taxpayers more than $27,000 in police overtime, and that doesn't include other resources reassigned to handle the area. And we're trying to work with them, um, but we get calls from them all the time as well. Come down and evict this person from our illegal camp. Police say the tone of this camp has changed. No longer a center of protest. It's an area of town that even Victoria Police's spokesperson says he wouldn't walk alone with his family. And as our officers are there dealing with the missing youth call, right behind them is a fight. So our officers are in the square, they deal with the fight. And as they're finishing up with that, another file comes in. There's a man having a seizure right beside them. Despite increased police presence, the city is taking a go-slow approach. Victoria's mayor says today's request for protesters to move on is the first step. It wasn't about bringing in uh, groups to now forcibly remove people from the square today. Uh, it's going to take time to seek a court injunction. We're certainly hopeful for voluntary uh, compliance. We certainly will continue to be open to see if there's other ways for them to continue to express their issues of concern. But as with similar protests in the city, such as the campers who set up tents in Cridge Park and the infamous Camp Campbell on the lawn of the legislature, city officials say the Occupy Victoria camp will come to an end. Police won't say how or when campers will be evicted, but the department says it will take its lead from the city. The city says it will take its lead from the court. Stephen Andrew, CTV News, Victoria.